Hey guys, haven't seen you in a while. I'm back in the cockpit of a Boeing 737 Classic and uh, today I'll try to do one more emergency. Now I've tried to do a manual extension of the gear. Of course, I've tried to do the normal extension of the landing gear, but everything failed. I went around and now I'm flying back to land at London Gatwick's uh, airport. Now because we don't have too much fuel remaining, we have a little bit more than 1.3 tons. I will have to prepare the aircraft for the belly landing quickly and then turn around to the left for the landing itself. So I will grab my QRH, the quick reference handbook, which has all the emergencies which could happen written there. I'll open page 14, landing gear and uh, read the checklist 14.28 now what it's asking me to do if you have tried the manual gear extension i have go to step two step two is brief the crew and passengers on emergency landing and evacuation procedures i've already done so actually burn a fuel to reduce touchdown speed well we don't have too much fuel remaining, so there's nothing to burn off. Plan a flaps 40 landing. This means that we will have to land with the flaps at 40 degrees. For those of you who don't know, the normal everyday flap setting for the Boeing 737 is 30. Flaps 40 will give us a lesser speed for touchdown, but more drag if we need to go around. Then. We have to pull the landing gear oral worn circuit breaker. I'll do it now. And there it is. Oppa. And then it asks us to pull the auto speed brake circuit breaker. I'll find it. And here it is. This prevents an inadvertent deployment as said in the QRH of ground spoilers after landing so that uh, we have less force dragging us down. Of course, do not arm the auto brake for landing, use manual braking. Well, we don't have any wheels, so we don't have any brakes, so why would we care about that? Do not arm the speed brakes. The lift damper is coming up from the upper side of the wing to push us down and uh, checklist is complete except deferred items these are pressurization we have to check our cabin altitude we have to check our landing altitude and they are pretty much correct now uh, recall we check if there are any systems failed well currently we don't see any then we check that the auto brake is off landing data we check our reference speed, the speed we have to hold over the threshold uh, of the runway for landing. It is 123 knots for flaps 40. And then we have approach briefing, which is completed. After the approach checklist, we have a landing procedure review, which just tells us not to use speed brakes unless really critical. And uh, do not use thrust reverses unless stopping distance is critical, which in our case, unfortunately, it is not. Just before the flare, we will turn all fuel pump switches to off, these ones, and after stopping, we will evacuate. Now we have some more additional deferred items, which tell us to put the standby power switch to battery, I can do it now. APU switch is off. The auxiliary power unit is off. Ground proximity gear inhibit switch so that we don't have any noise for the gear from our clever system goes to off to inhibit, I mean. And when on approach, we will turn the engine bleeder switches to off so that uh, at touchdown the aircraft is 
depressurized. It has no pressure. And uh, the last checklist we will do is the landing checklist. This one I'll do right before the landing. Okay, what I will do now is extend some flaps so that we can slow down and we don't go too far away from the airfield. Now the speed is checked, I go flaps 5. Okay, I reduced the speed more to maybe 175. I will put the navigation boxes to manual to have a less frequency of runway 08 right at London Gatwick, which is 110.9. And what I'm going to do now is start turning. I'll turn left to heading of 110 so that I approach the localizer, the horizontal component of the instrument landing system at a 30 degree angle. Now knowing that I'm not too far away from the localizer, I will arm it. Now Vorlock is armed and we can confirm that from our primary flight display. Our localizer is alive, as can be confirmed on all the instruments and the aircraft is turning itself towards the runway. Okay, I'll adjust the heading to the runway heading so that if we need to go around for some reason, which I wouldn't want to, to do, uh, we could easily maintain the runway heading. We would have the necessary guidance for it. Okay, we are now 10 miles from the runway, so I will do the checklist. We had to turn off the bleeder switches. I'll do that now. The approach checklist is now fully complete and uh, because we are approaching the glide slope, which is, if you remember, the vertical component of the instrument landing system, which guides us to the runway, I'll arm the glide slope. The glide slope is armed. We can confirm that on both sides and I'll further reduce the speed to 150 knots. Now the glide slope is alive. It means that we are approaching it. So I will extend the flaps to 15 degrees. Flaps are in transit. And the flaps are 15 green light. The autopilot is now catching the instrument landing system, keeping the guidance. And it's time for me to do the landing checklist. Engine start switches are in continuous. Speed brake is down the 10. Landing gear, we'll try to select it down. As expected, not too much luck. And now we only have to do the flaps. So, I'll put away the book, reduce the speed a little bit more, and go flaps 30. Reduce the speed to approach speed, and flaps 40. We have a green line. Okay, let the fun begin. I'm disconnecting the autopilot and auto throttle. And uh, wish me luck. Flight director's off. Oh, I can see the emergency services responding to us, and it seems that the runway is foamed, so it should be survivable. Whew. 
an emergency checklist, evacuation, parking brake, we don't have it, speed brake is down, flaps 40, standby power is on battery, pressurization mode selector, manual DC, outflow valve goes to open, the start levers are cut off, okay I have to advise the cabin to evacuate, this is emergency evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. Tower is advised that we'll evacuate and engine and APU fire switches. Override and pull. We have no fire, so I don't know about you, but I'm leaving the aircraft. <laughs>